Let's talk about water filtration. So we know, for example, that there are a number of different types of filters. We've been through this in other modules. So you've got strainers, which are designed to capture large particles, magnets for iron or nickel based particles. And then you've got inline filters, which are designed for fines. All right, so strainers are just basically a large mesh, very simple. Uh, inline filters we'll talk about in a bit more detail and magnets are obviously magnets. Now, what is the purpose of an inline filter? And when I say inline, it basically means in the flow stream because obviously these can be used in offline applications and like, you know, a kidney loop filter or something like that. Basically, the, the principle is, is pretty um, self-explanatory, right? You get fluid, it moves through the filter, the filter captures um, debris or objects that you don't want in flow stream anymore. Now, typically we think of this as being particulate matter, right? Maybe it's dirt, maybe it's wear debris, um, maybe it's uh, soot, right? In the case of uh, a, a diesel engine. But we can capture all kinds of things. And the thing about filters is you've probably seen a few different designs, right? There are a wide variety of filters on the market. Some are, let's say for example, glass fiber based, right? So you get this real, um, interweaving sort of mesh, right? Um, some are cellulose based and, and cellulose is really just a fancy word for paper filters, right? So um, cellulose is the material that makes up trees when you break that into down into a pulp that you can turn it into paper. So sometimes we will have filters that are actually a combination of those two. Maybe it'll have some glass fiber, maybe it'll have some cellulose as well. Now, how is this relevant in the context of removing water from oil systems? Well, I want to ask you a quick, quick question, which is if you were to spill a glass of red wine on a, hopefully it's on a table or tile or something and not on carpet, um, what is the first thing that you reach for to mop up the spill? You reach for a paper towel, right? 99 times out of 100, right? Um, the reason why you reach for a paper towel is because paper towels are very effective in mopping up water-based spills and that's the key water-based the reason for this is if you look at the structure of the cellulose molecule this is roughly what it looks like now there are going to be biologists all over the world that are screaming at me that this is not an accurate representation of the cellulose molecule granted okay but the important thing for us to take away here is these oh groups so oh is an alcohol group so technically cellulose is an alcohol but the important thing for us is that the OH functional group, which we see in alcohols and we often see in oxidation byproducts, right? They are polar. What does polar mean? Effectively, it means attracted to water because water is also a polar molecule. So it's for that reason that paper-based um, media, whether it's uh, you know a, a piece of paper that you use to uh, wipe up spills or paper-based filters, they like to hang on to water. Now, the reverse is also true of this. Because cellulose is polar, it doesn't like to hold on to oil. And I helpfully managed to break a bottle of oil um, in my kitchen. And as this demonstration shows, paper is a very, very, very poor medium for picking up oil spills, right? The way that it's able to pick up a little bit of it is um, that's what all the perforations are in uh, in the paper. It's really designed to reduce the surface tension. Um, and that's why some oil will cling to uh, a paper towel, but it's nowhere near as effective and no, nowhere near as absorptive as it is in the case of water. So what do these kind of paper filters look like? Well, it's sort of like a mass of cellulose fibers, right? And so it's still doing the job of capturing particles, right? So that, that web of, um, of different uh, pore sizes, if you like, is still effective in capturing particles. But the one thing that it will also do is absorb water, right? And that's why uh, cellulose media are actually quite effective in removing water. Now, if you have a lot of water in your oil system, particularly a lot of free water, then there are limitations to how much water, uh, you know, it can absorb. And we experience this all the time with paper towels, right? If you if you have a massive spill, you need to use a lot of paper to absorb that spill. 
Same thing goes for cellulose-based filters or paper-based filters, right? Um, if we uh, have a lot of water in our, uh, in our oil system, then the cellulose is going to get water wet and saturated very, very quickly. So it's not very effective in removing large amounts of water, right? But it is a very, very cheap and cost-effective solution compared to, let's say, for example, like a vacuum dehydration unit. So for, for, for small amounts of water, very, very effective solution. If you found this content useful, head on over to lubrication.expert. It's a website where there's tons more training courses, they're more structured, and it's available for about 22 US dollars a month.